So space just did something really cool. So as you can see on my shirt, hello darkness, my old friend, I've come to talk with you again. It's still kind of dark outside because we just had a solar eclipse. Solar eclipse happens when the moon goes in front of the sun from our perspective here on earth. And this is absolutely nuts. Cause you know, it's not every day that you get to see complete and utter darkness. All of the day, mind you, cause we see complete and utter darkness every night, right from your house. I also love Simon and Garfunkel, by the way. That's why I have the shirt. So here are my eclipse glasses. I let the chickens out cause they were acting a little bit weird, but you know, animals during a full moon or a solar eclipse. There's some bad footage of it. And then here we go, here's some better footage. Now there's some closer to totality cause that was 10 minutes after. And we have the little refraction buzzing around right there in the middle of it. And I'm trying to just get it into the thing. Here's the footage at like totality. But then the birds were chirping all during the solar eclipse because my chickens weren't really doing anything weird. Fully eclipsed sun. And my chickens weren't doing anything, which was kind of weird and unexpected because I was expecting to see something. So fun fact, a place only gets a solar eclipse roughly once every few hundred years, but it is really, really rare for an eclipse to happen twice within a hundred years. But you know, the really cool thing is that Western Tennessee got two eclipses within 10 years. And to me, that's just absolutely crazy. But you know, there are a lot of things you can do during solar eclipses that scientists don't really get to do otherwise. I mean, with the moon in the way blocking most of the light from the sun, they can actually see the, see the atmosphere of the sun and study how the atmosphere of the sun moves and all that. But then what's also interesting is just like on my shirt earlier, you could see that it had like a little bit of light on one side of it. Well, that's called the diamond ring effect. And that happens right before and after totality. But then during totality, you might see a few little pinpricks of light. Those are called Bailey's beads, which are, which is the little bit of light that's coming through because the moon isn't a perfect sphere. It's, just a lump of rock. And just like the Earth's surface, the moon's surface isn't completely smooth. So therefore, we all have a little bit of light because 